Some time ago, we ranked all of the melee weapons that you can get in Kenshi and how they work against each other. Uh, and now, since we are doing a new Kenshi playthrough on streams on Mondays and Fridays, you can check that out. Well, let's go rank all of the races that you can meet in Kenshi. Of course, not all of these are going to be recruitable for you if you don't use some mods. Or not all of these are going to be starting characters you can choose, but with some clever game mechanics and if you use Recruit Prisoners or Recruit Anyone mod, you can get any of these. So we're going to rank them all. So, first things first, we're going to look through the Hivers, then we're going to look through the Humanoids, then in the end at the Robots, so Skeletons. Now, of course, we're not only ranking how good they are in combat, how much stuff they can wear, we're also looking at coolness factor. We all know coolness factor is one of the most important things, not just the bonuses and malices they they get or crafting and all that stuff. So without further ado, let's jump in here and let's take a look first at the three Western Hiver uh, races over here, race options, I should say. So first things first, Western Hive Prince, they have 80 in all limbs, so pretty squishy. This is pretty much one of the best races if you want to go play more stealthy. They are fast, they can run up to like crazy over 30 miles per hour. They have very good combat speed bonus, so they're like 1.2 or something like that. They are, um, you can pretty much find them anywhere, so you know, they're pretty common. Their uh, blood is pretty low, but that goes uh, pretty much for all Hivers. And they're immune to acid, which also goes for a lot of Hivers, not all though. So they can, you know, they can go around everywhere. They can't wear boots, so you kind of have to get out of that. So it's easier for them to lose uh, legs, but you know, that's just not great. You know, losing limbs in Kenshi is a bonus, not a problem. They have lots of bonuses, but most important ones are bonuses to stealth. If you want to go theory, stealthy assassination guy. This is going to be a guy for you. They do have a Malice for Strength, which kind of hurts, but I think they're overall pretty great, and I'm going to put them into A tier. Western Hive Prince goes into A tier. Next, we go to Western Hive Soldier. Of course, these bad boys have 100 in all limbs and 200 for their head, because they can't wear headgear. That gives them kind of a beefy protection over there, so uh, it really works out for them. They are also pretty fast. Not as fast either in combat or running, as the princess, but almost up there. You know, there's really little uh, difference. Of course, they can't wear shoes either. They do have the acid protection and they do have bonuses to melee attack and toughness, which is like really two of the most important things out there. They do have lots of malices to various crafting stuff, but you don't get soldiers to craft. And they have the coolness bonus to being pretty much one of the coolest dudes out there. So Western Hive soldiers, S tier right there. I know, I know, lots of you are going to start disagreeing with what I say. Hear me out, let me know down in the comments what do you think, who do you think are the best races out there. Remember, coolness factor exists. And let's continue. So next we have the Western Hive workers. These guys, they have 75 across all their limbs, even squishier than the princess. Uh, they do have less uh, stealthy bonuses than as the princess. I think they, they lose on thievery maybe, but they do have stealth bonus, something like that. Uh, they do have dex bonus, which is uh, pretty decent. Of course, athletic, so they can be fast and all that stuff, but they are they are squishier and uh, they do have malice to strength as well. So they are just a worse version of the Prince, much worse version actually. I'm gonna put them into C tier down here. They're not as good. Next, we switch to Saturn Hive. They have a bonus of looking much cooler than their western hive boys you can't in vanilla game you can actually find them in some prisons and all that stuff and you can rescue them as slaves and they might join you so you might actually get these guys so first let's look at the prince the prince has the same health across the board as the western hive you know it has the the 80 in everything it's of course fast it has the same uh, attack speed as the western boy acid protection all that stuff it does have slightly slower bleed rate, but nothing nothing crazy. It's not like a crazy thing. It also loses a bunch of bonuses for uh, various things uh, compared to its Western half brother. Especially loses the one for toughness. So this one, not as good, not even for stealthy options. We're going to put it into B here. Next, we go to the Southern Hive Soldier. 
It has the same uh, health and a lot of stuff as the Western Hive counterpart. Of course, immune to acid. It can't wear boots or headgear. But it's great. You know why it's great? It kind of loses the perception mana. So if you want to, you can even kind of switch them to, to even ranged. But basically, it has less issues. Slightly less issues than Western Boy. So it's just slightly better version of the Western Hive counterpart. And we all know we love... Soldier drones, because they are just the best. And there you go, they're the best. S tier, top of the line, let's go. Next, we're gonna go to a worker drone of the Southern Hive. Basically, kind of same across the board as it's uh, a Western Hive brother. It doesn't have the toughness boost, so in that regard, it's just a slightly worse version of the Western Hive. So you can see soldiers are better, princes and drones are worse. So this one goes into C tier. Next, we're gonna look at the Fogmen. The Fogmen, yeah, we all know they're pretty squishy, they're not as good. Uh, this one loses a bit of uh, health compared to the other two princes, so it has 75 across the board, basically uh, the same as the worker drones from the other classes. Uh, it does have the same bleed rate, it loses the acid protection. You see, the Dead Hive, the Fogmen, they don't have acid protection. I don't know why not, but they lose that, they don't have it, it's just unfortunate. It loses even more bonuses uh, compared to the uh, other princes, so it's it's kind of it's kind of worse. It's a C tier. It's a C tier boy. I'll put it above the worker drones because we all know, you know, the the worker drones are below the princess, but it's still a C tier pick. Next on the list, we have the Fogman Soldier. This bad boy has 100 across the board, so it doesn't have the bonus to its head like the two other boys so we can't put it into s tier it's still a decent one it actually has the slower bleed rate than the western boys so it has that bonus but it doesn't have any acid protection if you go roaming around when you want to it does have a bonus to melee and strength lower bonus to strength not the full 20 percent not 1.2 it's 1.1 i believe uh so it's it's still decent it's still decent but it's worse than the other two. So we're going to put it into like A tier. Because it still has like 100 health across the board. You know, it's not the worst. But he can't wear helmets or boots. Or, yeah, I should mention, that Hive also cannot wear shirts. So, there's that. Next, we have the uh, Falkman Worker. Sorry, these boys are just too squishy. They have 50 HP across the board. You know, you look at them, they pretty much die uh, they do have lower bleed rate, but if you have 50 HP, you're really not going to be bleeding out. You're just going to die. You're going to just crap yourself. So, yeah, it also has a malice to strength. So these are just the worst option. And they're going to go down into the air tier. Next on the list, we have your classic Greenlanders. These guys have no coolness bonus because they're just everywhere. You know, it's, it's, they're nothing special. They're just normal humans. Nothing out there. They have 100 across uh, all of their limbs, as we know. They, of course, can wear all five pieces of clothing, so I guess that's a bonus for them. They do have much, much higher bleed rate than any of Hivers, but they also have more blood in general. Like, it varies, so it doesn't necessarily... They don't necessarily have that, that much more blood, so they're pretty squishy in that regard. Of course, there's slower run speed, slower combat speed, Nothing special about them. They only have like bonuses to cooking and science, I think. Yeah, and farming, of course. So really, these guys are nothing special. I would put them above the worker drones, of course, and the the Dead Hive Prince. But they are like a C tier dudes. Nothing special about uh, these boys. Next on the list, we have the Scorchlanders. Scorchlanders are basically a cooler version of Greenlanders all across the board. They have the coolness factor. Same. Limp strength, uh, same amount of blood than the Greenlanders. They do have a slightly lower bleed rate and slightly faster heal rate. So in both of these regards, they are better than Greenlanders. They have a lot more bonuses because they get the bonus for crafting, armor, and weapons. So that makes them very valuable because uh, there's not that many people that can do that. They do have a bit of a dex bonus. They also have dodge bonus, which I think is the only race that actually gets dodge bonus. So if you are looking for a martial artist this might be the thing for you scorchlanders are are cool you know they do get a uh, malice to strength which is a bit of an issue but still much better than the greenlanders and b tier like middle of the pack these guys are kind of cool next we go to shack shack we all know are born warriors they have 125 in all um, limbs 
they bleed fast the same amount as the Scorchlanders. So you would say, hey, they have, you know, more health than, let's say, these two guys. Yes, but these guys with more health can tank for a bit longer, but they also bleed out much, much faster. They bleed like five times faster than these guys. So they will, once they actually bleed out, they'll be down longer than the Hivers because of that, you know? You would say, hey, you know, they're just so awesome on stuff. They do have bonus to attack. They do have bonus to strength, a smaller one, and toughness. So that's good. Of course, they can't really do anything with their hands. They can't really work, and, you know, laboring, farming, dodging all that stuff. It's not very good for them. They are, uh, they are a great race. They're not the best race. They're not S tier. They are A tier. We're going to put them over here below the stealthy princes, above the uh, soldier drones from the dead hive. And I see how people are gonna be like, oh no, check are the best fighters. Nah, nah, no they're not. No they're not. Hiver soldiers, the best ever. Anyway, let's go onwards to glory, the cannonballs. We all love cannonballs, they're cool, you know, they're kinda cool, they have pretty much the same stats as normal Greenlander human. They do have a bit, a bit of uh, different bonuses. They have uh, cooking, and they have malice to farming who, who cares about that not really anything important there what is important is they are immune to acid which clearly and utterly makes them better than normal greenlander humans but they're not really amazing so we're gonna put them into c tier just above humans they are better than them there's that onwards to glory the scalibros First, we have just a normal skeleton that we all know and love. You know, your normal recruit, they have 200 uh, limp strength all of all across the board. Of course, we all know they can't wear boots, they can't wear shirts, they can't wear helmets, which is a problem. You know, there's been always this uh, fight, who is better, Shaq or skeletons in combat? Now we all know it's the actual Hivers, because, you know, that's, that's how it works. Anyway, skeletons are cool. They heal much faster than the humans, basically twice as fast as humans. Well, repair and uh, because they also have twice as much health they also bleed much much slower you know their oil loss is near not nearly as fast uh their major problem of course comes from not being able to wear stuff and the normal skeletons actually don't have any cool bonuses they have a bonus to heavy weapons that doesn't really do that much you know bonus to heavy weapons isn't that special sure they have a bonus to uh, turrets so you can just, since you don't need to feed them, you can just throw them on turrets and forget about them. And they will just shoot forever. So I guess that's that's decent. But otherwise, they're not that good. I'll actually put them out here into B tier. I prefer Scorchlander to a normal Skelly in many, many, many regards. Next, we have the P4 Skelly version uh, of the normal Skelly. It's just a different head, uh, which means that the head itself is 150 health instead of 200 of course can't wear all kinds of stuff as well so you would say hey that's crappy but they have three times the healing rate of humans and the normal scouts have the two times healing rate so they heal really really fast they really do heal fast these ones you can actually you can't start as them but you can find them as random recruits out there so you can even in another game you can recruit these guys you'll find them out there and they're kind of cool they do have bonus to uh armor smithing i believe as well so they're they're decent at that and also weapon smithing but they're pretty damn rare uh i would still say they're better than normal skeletons because of especially those crafting things and the uh, fast healing rate so they're slightly better all things uh regarded so Onwards to Glower, we go to Logheads or Soldier Bots. There's one recruiting game that you can get, and we all know who it is, it's Agno. Agno is a Soldier Bot, but, you know, if you if you get some mods, you can recruit many more of these boys. Uh, you'll find them. They have 200 uh, limb strength across the board, so same as normal Skeletons. They do heal the same uh, as fast as the P4 Skeletons, so faster than the normal ones, they're better than that. They do have bonus to Perception, so if you want to have some shooty shooty guys, these guys will be your option, you know, they're kind of cool. But otherwise, they have a bunch of malices. I think when it comes to skeletons, these ones are better than the previous two versions. So I'm actually going to put them into A tier. Probably above uh, these bad boys. Let's go onwards to, go to glory and onwards to headless thralls. We all seen them running around Venge and uh, all across the board there. They're, you know, they're annoying. You can't really recruit them without some mods, but you can 
with some mods. You can gra grab them and add them to your uh, squad. They are not very useful. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're not that good. They have 120 in all limbs, so they have just slightly better than a normal human being. They do have a good healing rate, and they do have a higher bleed rate than the other skeletons, so that makes them, again, kind of worse than the other skeletons, for sure. And I think they don't really have any great bonuses. Let's see, they do have bonus to melee, actually. Otherwise, they're not really that cool, because, you know, not having a head also hurts them. Uh, and we're gonna put them into, like, C tier over here. Not really special. Nothing amazing about them. Let them be there. Next on the list, the last of the skeletons, we have a Screamer. Uh, you also, you'll see some of these skeletons in the game, but you can't really recruit them without any mods. Screamers have 200 across all limbs. They have bon uh, bonus to healing the same as the Logheads and the B4s. They're fast in that. They do have bonus to assassination, which I totally forgot about that because you don't get to use them that often. So you can have an assassin in this guy. I think it's the only person or the only race that has bonus to assassination. So you have that going for them. They do have bonus to melee as well, which is great. But they don't really get to the uh, S tier. I will put them out here into the A tier. You know, Logheads get the coolness bonus of it being Agnew. So they are better than these bad boys. So there you go. They go in A. Last, but not the least, we have the Fishymon. Not a skeleton, not a human. No, but nobody knows what it is. It's a Fishymon. You know, everybody loves him. He has 150 across all limbs, so he can take some punishment. 200 for legs. So it's not really gonna lose a leg, which you definitely want it to lose a leg, because this is by far the slowest race out there. Much, much slower than anything else. So at least if you can get it some good robotic limbs, legs in that regard, they'll be able to run faster, or at least as fast as your normal dudes without robotic limbs. But of course they have 200 HP and legs, so it's hard to lose them, so that's just annoying. They are immune to not only acid, but also gas, which is the only flashy race that is immune to gas, so it gives them that bonus, so they're great. Of course, they can't wear heads, headgear, they can't wear shirts, they can't wear boots, well, they don't know that, so it's not really amazing. They only get bonuses to athletics and swimming. Athletics, they're already extremely slow, they'll never get fast, no matter how many athletics they have or how much athletics. They are also crazy crappy at pathing, worse than any other race at pathing, because they will always skirt around and try to go into water, even though their swimming is going to be much slower than them running uh, on the ground. So they'll, you know, just path somewhere crazy and be annoying and obnoxious. They do have malice to dodge, which is surprising because most of them come at you as martial artists, or all of them, pretty much, besides their king or something like that. So these guys, even though we love Fishimon, unfortunately, they're pretty dang crap, so we're gonna put him out here, maybe above the two worker drones. No, no, like this, maybe above the, uh, this guy, yeah, sure, over there. There you have it, it has been ranked, the races are here, uh, I wanna hear what you guys think, so let me know down in the comments below. Of course, as I said before, I ranked, uh, Kenshi Weaponry, so you can go check that video, there's gonna be links up there over there and down below in the description also we of course we have a new streaming series going on the glorious rise the swamp queen go check that out we are streaming on mondays and fridays on youtube and you can always check back the old videos they all stay on youtube so you can see that for now thank you for watching i'll see you next time